Now, a centuries-old Australian history mystery has been solved today with the Australian Maritime Museum confirming that they've found the wreck of the Endeavour. This is the ship of Captain James Cook, of course, the British explorer who first came out and mapped the Australian coastline. For more than 20 years, maritime archaeologists have been investigating several 18th century shipwrecks in a two-square-mile area of Newport Harbour in Rhode Island, a harbour that's very famous in Australian sport as well. Now, the final piece of the puzzle was put in place recently, and to get more on this development, I'm joined by Kieran Hostey, who's the mar maritime archaeologist at the Australian National Maritime Museum. Thanks for joining us, Kieran. We heard about this, uh, welcome, Chris. The, I suppose, the, the strong suspicions here, the strong evidence here a couple of years ago. Uh, since then, you've been doing a lot of work, but now you're absolutely convinced that this wreck in Rhode Island must be the endeavour. We are. We're very convinced. We've been working with our partners, the Rhode Island Marine Archaeology Project now in Endeavour for 21 years, and we've been working on this particular site what's known as RI2394, for four years. And we've slowly got all the information together and we're now very confident that we have found the site. Now, regardless, there's nothing of the ship that you can salvage. In turn, it can't be refloated and preserved, can it? It's a, it need, what's there needs to be left at that site. You want to try and protect it at that site? Is, is that the intention? That is the intention, that the wreck itself belongs to the state of Rhode Island and we are very conscious of the fact that it, they own the wreck and all our work that we do in Rhode Island is part of, the, part of their ongoing investigation of this site and it will always remain in Rhode Island. Uh, we don't intend to remove it or bring it back to Australia or anything, so their heritage is perfectly safe. Uh, we just like to know where it is and what we can do to assist its ongoing preservation, how we can protect the site even further. Excellent. Now, we know the Captain Cook story. We know he went to Tahiti to have a look at astronomical uh, events. Then he came and mapped the coast of Australia. Uh, we know he was killed in Hawaii. How did the endeavour end up in Newport, Rhode Island? Who owned it then and, and, and what was it being used for? Yeah, it's a strange story. The whole story about Endeavour is very strange. It started life as a collier uh, called the Earl of Pembroke. It then got taken up by the Navy to go on this voyage of exploration and discovery. It subsequently got sold out of the service after Cook had finished with it and then it became, became another private vessel. When the American War of Independence broke out in America, the British government didn't have enough ships to transport Hessian troops, mercenaries, from Europe to America, and it employed hundreds of transport ships like Endeavour. And um, the, owner, the new owner of Endeavour uh, actually renamed it Lord Sandwich and put it up for charter. And so it was chartered to carry troops to the United States, went to New York first, and then ended up in Newport, Rhode Island. Interestingly, what happened was that now the there French are... sided with the Americans. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, sorry to interrupt there. The, yes, the French side with the Americans, because I was just going to say that uh, the maritime historians in Rhode Island have spoken up today. That they're saying the evidence is not conclusive. So there's a bit of a debate between you and them as to whether this is conclusive evidence or not. There's always a debate about in archaeology, and we're open to all discussions and everything and all viewpoints. Uh, one of the interesting things about archaeology is if you have four or five archaeologists sitting in a room you end up with a whole seven, eight, nine different opinions about what you have. So we're, we're totally open to those debates with the Rhode Island Marine Archaeology Project and Dr Abbas. Uh, one of the reasons we've, we've right, actually well, provided we've, um... our report to Dr Abbas... Great. Well, we've had contests uh, with the Americans uh, in Newport, Rhode Island before, and uh, we've won them. So I'm happy to go with your judgment on this one too, Kieran. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Chris.